All right, guys. Uh, I drilled the uh, rotor out. I just wanted to show you how I did it because uh, it's kind of interesting. I got a uh, drill press and uh, took a piece of wood, two pieces of wood, drilled a three inch hole, which is what this pipe is. Two of those. Um, I got a piece of wood on the bottom. It is marked right there. That's uh, plumb bobbed off of where my bit is. And I've got this marked, marked this out. Uh, you probably can't see it. Basically, you can see through this plastic. So what I did was I lined up my mark down here. Now I lined up, when I drilled it up here, I hold this flush against here, this holds it square. It's kind of hard to see. And uh, basically that's, uh, that's how I drilled the rotor out. I just got zip ties through here. Uh, those zip ties are shims. To get it out the right distance, we should be right at center, which it looks pretty good. So now I'll just tap these out, and uh, then I will be ready to install my uh, brackets I made for my magnets. But this turned out pretty nice, I'm liking this. Um, if you guys ever work with plastic, Sharp drill bits work real great, but this is, I believe, for aluminum is what it's designed for, but it does wonders with plastic. Uh, this is actually what I used to uh, cut this taper out. Um, I don't even know what this is called. I looked at Fastenal today. This particular type of bit, same size, is about 21 bucks, which is well worth every penny. Uh, also. If you ever buy tap and die sets and you're going to do plastic, um, I found out that the type that only have two uh, shanks, I believe what they're called, flukes, I'm sorry. Yeah, I believe that's right. But it works better uh, than like the three or four because the plastic gets all up in there and you have to back it out every like half turn. It's really terrible. Hey, if somebody's got a better idea, let me know. It'd be great. But there you go. So uh, when I'm done mounting all the magnets on my uh, rotor, I will uh, let you know. See ya.